Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Power Expertise. So today we will see how we can earn money that not to in rupees in dollars using user testing while working from home. So let's get started. So come to your Google Chrome, type user testing. Google will give you some search result. Go to this www.usertesting.com. Once you come here, go to get to paid test. And here you need to give your email address. I will give my email address. Check on this box and click on get started. Now you have to sign up to take tests. It takes about 50 to 20 minutes to sign up. If you need to, you can complete the process at any other time by returning to either user testing website or app. Reward amounts depend on the type of the test and you will be paid through PayPal. You must be at least 18 years old and able to stay your thoughts out loud. So the thing that is here is your age must be 18 or 18 above. And you have to speak out your thoughts loud you know, to qualify this test. I will help you like how you can qualify this screening test. Okay, so I'll click on next. Here again, you need to specify your name, your user ID. You can give your any, you know, ID, which will be your username to logging into your app and logging into the website. And then uh, add some password here your zip code and your paypal email address so that i will skip for now and click on next so we have to give a paypal email address my paypal email address is this you just have to add your paypal email address and if you don't have any paypal account with you you can go here and create new for this, like how you can create a new PayPal account, I will cover up in my next video. So just click on next. Okay, so this username is... Okay, so username cannot include the part of your name. So here we need to give some unique name. That too should not be part of your first or the last name. So I'll give... Um, So it has taken my name this. Okay, I'll click on continue. No, I'll click on continue. So if you are a beginner and you don't know like how you have to give a try for user testing, so you can take up a practice test, which will take seven minutes of yours. And then you have to complete your profile and verify your email address. So we will take a practice test just to give you an overview like how you can, you know, um, qualify for this screening round, okay? So three things you have to make sure is that you have to reach each and every question very carefully and you have to be very loud and clear while even reading the question and while you're uh, giving your answer, your thoughts. So... That I will cover in the uh, video where I will be covering like how you can give or how you can qualify the screening test. The, the second part is like take your time. Don't rush or, you know, don't fumble. Don't uh, be nervous while giving the answer because uh, nobody will judge you based on the qualifications you have or for any test. You, you Just imagine you have qualified for any of the tests which involves uh around uh, using the teams microsoft teams so it will not call if it will not test you based on your you know how um well you are aware of teams it will basically ask you a question so that they will make their product more uh, user friendly or more easy for a user to understand so the basic uh, aim for any you know uh, user testing test is to Test the product usage of a customer. 
So don't hesitate or don't be nervous while giving the answer. And there is no wrong or uh, right answer, as I've already mentioned. They are not testing your credibility or your knowledge. They are simply testing like how well you can you know, interact with their products. And find a quiet place to answer your question. No background, you know, or voice should go while recording your session. So these three things you should have to keep in your mind. So I click on next. So here it will ask to do some quick setup. They have to add some extension in your browser. So you just, uh, you know, add those in your uh, extension browser. I have already have one in my extensions. So that is not asking here, but yeah, it is asking me to share my microphone and screen. So I will share the access I will allow. I will allow this feature as well. I need to click first on the screen and then click on share. It is asking me to confirm for the screen selected. Yes, I'll confirm that. You have to, you know, give them like your microphone is uh, is of good quality. So here they will test the microphone. So you just have to say hello, check one, two, three or something to just to check your microphone. And once this message will come sound straight, your microphone is working and click on next. So here they are just telling you some of the important thing that you have to keep in mind by giving the test. First is that you have to keep two tabs open, one for your user testing the website, another where you are answering the question or some prototype open to the uh, example that I've taken in the previous example is the Teams, Microsoft Teams. You are giving a test for Microsoft Teams, so that uh, question I should be uh, opening the next tabs to so make sure you open two tabs. Now you are set, you have to, you know, start your test. Here they are also saying you do find some quiet place to take the test and uh, speak out loud your thoughts. So I will click on start recording. So here what you have to do, you have to, uh, you know, um, whatever you are doing, like you are just thinking like now I'm uh, reading, I'm going to read a scenario for this test. You will search for the article on the user testing contributor support center website and provide feedback and experience. After reading all through this, let's say you are saying like now I will open the test page. So just speak that, uh, you know, whole process while recording. Don't get quiet. Okay. At any point of time, don't be quiet. Speak something like, like just imagine that you're talking to your friend and explaining him some process. So just think that your computer is your friend and you're just talking your thoughts out to your friend. Okay. So let's suppose that we read all the instructions, like we want to see how would you speak on your thoughts when you follow the test instruction and also keep on, you know, highlighting wherever your mouse is going and whatever thing you're doing while navigating from one page to another. That also you should specify and highlight while you're using your mouse cursor. So let's say if I'm reading out this uh, of, uh, this section of the page, so I, I just highlighted that with the help of my mouse. So you can also do that. When you have selected one open test page, the experience you will testing will open in a new browser tab, return to this current tab when you're ready for the next instruction. Keep both tabs open for the duration of your test. So this is saying, telling me like, once I click on open the test page, it will open a new browser window. And I should not close my existing browser window. I will keep both the uh, browser open. On the one, I will be, you know, performing the task, which was specified in the task one, in question I have one. And I will return back again to my current uh, tab when I have to move on to the next step. So click on open the tab and you will know open. Okay. So here, what I have to do, that I need to check, like what I need to do in this step. So click on next. So task one came up for me. This is my page where I have to perform the task. And this is a page where I have to know, like where I have to check what I have to do on my page second. So here they're asking me the task one, like find the article called protecting your privacy while testing. Think loud as you look for it. What made it easy or hard to find what you're looking for? The more you share, the more better. Remember to return to this tab when you finish it. They will tell you each and every step, like a baby toddler, like every step we tell to our uh, toddler baby, right? 
you pick up the spoon now uh, bring the spoon close to your mouth and eat so likewise this whole um, website will tell you like what you have to do in the next after uh, performing the previous one so yeah so it is telling me like once you're done with the task one come back to the here and then click on next so first i will perform my task is like i need to find protecting your privacy while testing on my page second so here i will come down and scroll so while scrolling also you can see like i'm just reading out like yeah i'm finding out the protecting uh, article so here it, it it will not be daily applying to use testing getting started with parallel tools must be somewhere here privacy and other testing policies and how we protect your customer uh, customers through policy so i have found this article here so we'll see like whether i have to you know click on it or simply just have to specify whether i find it so i have already find that one so i'll i will move on to my next because they are not asking us to click on it and then no, go inside it this is asking us like find out the protecting your privacy while testing tab so i'll find it out and i'll click on next i will move on to my next tab here it will ask me like this is your task so i will read out like spend one to two minutes reading a section about what information you should never share so now it is expecting me to go inside okay of this tab so i have clicked on it now it is asking me what is what's the information clear explain or why or why so this is saying me like after spending one to two minutes have you understood their policies what uh, information of yours will be shared with them whether it is secure according to you or not so you have to read it out and once you read all the information now they're asking like was information clear explain why or why not so this place you have to give your review give your feedback like what you have understood after reading the article for privacy so we'll read it out also not in our you know head we will read it out loud so that it will get recorded it is see here it is getting recorded so whatever you are reading it should be recorded in your screen so like privacy and testing policies contribute to code of conduct protecting your privacy while testing can i participate in user engine while traveling how do i hide my name on my mac computer so if i want to know like whether i can record or participate in testing while traveling we'll see in here if you're traveling to a different country, your location or not match the country is still being provided. This could result in low rating. Cancel payment or even removed from your contributor net. Many of your tests in corporate location with service, and this must be curated in order to be valuable for you. This is simply saying that if you're traveling outside the country, then you are not uh, no, you are not um permitted to take tests because in your profile, let's say I am recording this in India and uh, now I'm moving to USA. So now I have to update my profile and then only I will be eligible to take tests which are coming there in that dom uh, demography. Okay. Otherwise, you will get low rating and also your PMS can get cancelled. So this is complete no, but if you're traveling um, within the country and that has no disturbance in the background there is a proper you know uh there is no disturbance in terms of voice i'm talking about so if there is no background noise then yeah you can uh take a test so that i understood now i will go back to privacy i will i will check for this like how can i hide my name on my computer so there are previous steps have you understood or not just go through and read it out loud and then come back to the tab one and just tell them what information like you have got whether it is clear to you or not if it is clear explain why if it is not clear then also you need to specify so i will see yeah, information is uh, somewhat clear to me and i've understood what uh, they are trying to explain me let's say if i have not been convinced okay so i will explain why not so as in this page they are talked about the privacy but nowhere i can find uh, any uh, article based on the uh, like uh, how can i protect my uh, let's say 
uh, they will not take any of my personal information. Let's say I'm just giving you an example that I am not convinced with your article what they have specified in terms of privacy. So I will just give them the explanation in detail. Once I'm done with this task, also I'll move on. According to the article, you should find which of the following information is never safe to share. So now after reading the article in the privacy and other testing policies, we have to go to the contributor code also, I guess, and the read it out thoroughly. And then protecting your privacy while testing that also need to, you know, read it thoroughly. And then after reading all the four tasks, they're asking uh, you like, which information is not safe to share? So I think financial account number, not it's a, it's a big no. Never share your financial account number in any of the pages. Basic, uh, you know, uh, principle that everyone knows. Email address, it's fine. Phone number also, it's fine. Home address is also fine. But never share your account number with anyone. Okay. So just click on that and click on next. Now find the article called contributor code of uh, conduct and spend one distributing the one point to keep in mind. So I will go back again in my next tab. I will go back in the privacy and other uh, testing policy and I will select uh, contributor code of conduct, which they have asked me to select. I have selected that and then I will read all the down uh, article down here. After you like it, it should be. Uh, again, I'll specify here, yeah, it should not be in your head and have to, you know, uh, read it out, literally read it out. Then you click on next. I think based on the previous charts, they will ask you here, name one important point you remember from the article. So let's say I remember that I, my age will be 18 plus, otherwise I won't be eligible to take part in the user testing. You will provide us a create updated profile information. You only create one account. You won't allow anyone else to use your account. Your account is yours and yours. You don't take any test while traveling outside the country unless it's in your profile. So, like, uh, among these five or six points, you have remembered uh, two. So, just uh, tell them, like, I have remembered three points. One is like my age should be 18 plus. I should not make two accounts. And third one, while, while traveling out to the country, I should not take any user testing test. If you remember uh, all of five, you just listed out all five. And then click on next. Then that's it. Any final thoughts? So this question is the most common question. You will find it in all your user testing. In any of the product, uh, you know, review, they will ask you mandatorily this question at the end of the task. So here you need to specify like any additional comments. Let's say you're not happy with any of the UI, you are not happy with uh, the color or the size, or you're expecting, uh, let's say you're expecting um, the navigation should be on the top, not on the left. You're expecting the navigation to be on the right. So any of the thing that you find or you think that it should be placed in some other way, uh, so just you have to add it. Or you find the website very pleasing, very attractive, very engaging. Use these words, like it's very engaging. I know where to move next. And um, say positive points. If you want to, you know, give any negative compliment like let's like what i've said like navigation should not be in the left side it should be in the right side the top navigation should have some other background color so it would be more eye catchy for any user in in respect of the ui so that kind of a thing you can add in the additional comments if you have any question that if you don't how you know it's not easy how to go back Mostly people go uh, back from this back button. But uh, here, let's say this is not present currently and you want to add a point here, like there should be some navigation so that it would be easy uh, for a user to go back within the website, some some way within the web website, there's a way to go back, uh, you know, to the previous page. Like that, you can add some suggestion to them. And once you have done, you just have to click on stop recording. So this video was all about how you can qualify for user testing test. And if you find this video informative, 
and please share it with your friends and like my video and also subscribe to my channel to get more such contents. Till then, bye.